Uh, How did you get captured there? Uh, did they, they capture very many of you? Oh, yeah. Captured damn near the whole division. Or no, didn't capture, killed or captured 65% of that division. Was that where the Germans were dressed up like Americans? Yeah. What, did, did they get you in a running fight or no. did they sneak up on you or what? They, uh, I got captured on the 23rd. They, uh, They were they were way ahead of behind us. They they go they they give up. Uh, they could take that setting time. Yeah. They left us at same bit, and uh, then they the rear we was captured by the rear part of the army. You know, with the cleanup troops. Yeah. Well, just coming through. You know, they uh, well they they was moving artillery in at night. You know, and we were uh, we were dug in along the road. Yeah. We were throwing hand grenades at them. They were moving big guns in you know, with horses, you know, all horse-drawn stuff. You know. Next morning, while they got looking around, they run on guys. I mean, this guy was only two left of the yeah. squad. We were in a hole. He come up, you know, Find us there. We was like, trying to find a way to get that, get out of there, you know. Dig in a little bit. They used horses. They told us there was no way out uh, two or three days before that, you know. Yeah. When you fight your way out, you know, that's any way you get out. They were bass tone. Well, that's when we turned into bass tone on the 23rd. And we was putting up the same bit. They went on around us and left us sitting there, you know. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. And then we'd find out what happened to the rest of the guys. Didn't they get... They were supposed to stay there, but they left. I don't remember. They, I don't know if they got caught or... You and the guy got captured together. You used to go to the same place? They take you to the same place? <laughs> yeah. Out of the same hole. Who, who was it got captured with you? Uh, was that Sergeant Thick. Sergeant Thick. Did, Sergeant Thick. Did they take us both to the same place? Yeah. Did they call them? Was it a star lag? <laughs> What? Was that called a star lag where they took you? Yeah. What, what, what no, well, I, didn't, I didn't wind up there until I was captured five weeks before I hit uh, prison. What did you do in that five weeks? Just walk the roads. Walk over Germany. That's all. Just been, kept us walking from here to there, you know. I imagine that was about the worst part, wasn't it? Wondering what the hell you was getting into. Nothing to eat. Yeah. I was captured on the 23rd, and it was the 29th before I got a piece of bread. 23rd of what? 23rd of December. December? What year was that? 44. 44. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. 45 of what was 44. December 23rd. Yeah. When, um, when they finally got you there, what was it like? Did, did you have any facilities, you know, showers, bathrooms, or anything? Well... We got uh, to uh, Seasburg at the uh, monastery, yeah. and they had a they had charge in that there. They put us they put us in the attic then, in case a bomb hit. I guess to get us from the start. I don't know what their idea was, and they uh, they had charge. They told us about the second day we were there. Okay, it was all lousy lights. And uh, they said, they said, uh, we should have a bath. I don't know what happened to the others, most of them, but I got in the bath, just got soaked up good, and here come an air raid. They shut off all the water, electricity, and everything. There you are, all soaked up. <laughs> and just soap off. And uh, we finally got a bath in a couple of days. Uh, help some, you know, but they still never got rid of the lights. Did they ever put you in a permanent prison camp or did they keep you moving around? Well, uh, the only permanent well, prison camp I was in was, uh, it wasn't like, uh, their bad prison camps, you know, it was uh, just a holding place like barracks. You know. But they still never gave us nothing. How long was you there in that place? Well, I, I wasn't there very long. I went from uh, Seasburg to there, and I think in about a month, it was uh, about always there. We, but we was living, 
in the bottom of a <coughs> uh, hospital for a while in the cellar, and then he's in these barracks for a while, you know. And they, uh, they still never fed you that man. How often did you get to eat? Once a day? Well, in, in Seasburg at that monastery, we got to eat uh, maybe three times a day, which you didn't get very much. You get a like bone, and it wasn't all meat. It was mixed with cereal or something. It was good. I mean, it was good stuff to eat and clean, but it was uh, it wasn't that you know enough of it. When I got there, I weighed 83 pounds from 168. I went to 83 pounds about five weeks. So you know, I had dis got dysentery bad. You know, when you were at the at the permanent camp where he was for a month, did, did they work you there? What did they do during no. the day? Well, you just lay around all day doing nothing? You couldn't work. Two weeks. All two weeks. Out of 72, there was only me and another guy could walk around. Two guys out of 72? Yeah, some was wounded and some was down with dysentery. You know, most of them were down with dysentery. We used to barter for them, go around, you know, they'd have cigarettes, they'd get them. We got two Red Cross boxes while we was there. It had eats in it, you know. we barter in cigarettes and <clears throat> pipe tobacco, maybe. Some of them had pipe tobacco, some had cigarettes, you know, or some of each, I forget. And uh, they'd trade cigarettes. You'd get uh, two eggs for a cigarette, but there wasn't enough of them. I mean, you know, you couldn't get enough for everybody. You're lucky you got two for yourself. How did the German soldiers, were they pretty mean towards you? Or did they just act like they were stuck in the same way you were? Well, the, well, the guys that captured us and just acted about like we did, you know. Uh, but the only real one I've seen there, that was real bad, that done anything real bad, that guy, he was a German sergeant. He shot some guy laying on the floor. He ordered him to get up. I don't think the guy could get up. He, I don't believe he could stand up. I, I didn't know him. There was a couple hundred of us in that one building. Maybe more than that. I don't. I forget how many was in that building. It was packed full. Wasn't room enough for everybody to lay down. Some had to set up and sleep. And it was a filthy place. Christ, it was your bed and your toilet and everything. Put you right where you sat. You know, you couldn't. And he shot this guy. For, I didn't see him go, but I seen the guy afterwards. And they said he shot him, you know, he shot him in the neck with a pistol. But then you had to shoot them all. They hit us, goddamn, they started right there. Imagine. Yeah. How many Americans were there in that whole place? About a couple hundred? I, I believe there was 1,200 of us in that one place. How many Germans did they have there? Two floors. And that damn thing wasn't much bigger than the fire hall. It was an old factory. There wasn't a wind in it. All the windows were busted out of it. They had, had 1,200 people in that one building? Yeah. How many Germans did they have guarding you? Well, I mean, hell, they just had machine guns, machine guns set up around. Well, they had maybe one platoon of Germans in the whole place? Huh? They had maybe one platoon of Germans in the whole place? Oh, Christ. Had one. There, was, uh, there was a medical outfit there. It was like in a town, right on the outskirts of the town, like a factory usually sets, you know. And uh, I don't know what it made. Uh, oh, it was, I do. Oh, it must have made potato peelers because there was cartons in there, you know, that had on them uh, uh, potato peelers. And uh, it didn't say, yeah, yeah, that's right, it did say potato peelers. It was wrote in made in the United States. Now whether that meant the package or the potato peeler, I don't know. But that's a, that's a little kind of cartons they had in there. And it was all, everything was tore out of it. And it was, uh, probably it was longer than, uh, about half again as long as the fire hall. And I don't think quite that wide. It might have been that wide too. But it was two floors. Mm -hmm. it had one stove in it. That's where the wounded was at. They couldn't keep them warm with it, you know, the cross killer stove. All the windows were bombed out of it. You might as well be sleeping outside. A lot of them died, you know, dysentery, 